Keith Mackey, aviation analyst. And Keith, thank you so much for taking the time to join us on this today. Keith, uh, talk to us first of all about this collision, what we know about what happened. Well, we don't know a great deal. We just know that two aircraft were trying to occupy the same space at the same time, which really doesn't work very well. The uh, a JAL airplane had just landed and apparently struck the Coast Guard airplane during the landing rollout. Now, investigators will investigate all the facts involving this. They'll get the tape recordings from the tower tapes, play those. They'll determine if the Coast Guard airplane was attempting a takeoff yet or whether he'd just been taxiing. And they'll determine why the incident occurred. There'll be plenty of information for them to use from recordings and from visual uh, experiences of those who were at the scene. Right, and from our understanding, as you were describing, it was the Japan Airlines plane that was landing on the runway where the Coast Guard aircraft was getting ready to take off. So uh, in, in situations like this, like, I mean, this scenario in and of itself, how rare is it for something like this to happen? What would it indicate to you? Well, it indicates possibly a lack of coordination between possibly the ground controller that may have been talking to the Coast Guard airplane and the tower controller that would have been talking to the uh, uh, JAL airplane. So there was obviously miscommunication. The Coast Guard airplane should never have been permitted to occupy the runway where the JAL airplane was clearly rolling out with his landing roll. But on the positive note, I think that the uh, JAL flight attendants did an excellent job in evacuating the airplane. It was very fortunate and through a great deal of skill that no one was injured, or at least not seriously. Well, and you're right, Keith. I mean, 379 passengers were able to deboard safely on that flight. Uh, this is an Airbus A350. Um, and my understanding is this is the most damage uh, that has ever been seen on an Airbus A350 in a crash like this. Generally, when it comes to being able to uh, deplane a plane of this magnitude, are you surprised that everyone survived? Yes, I am. The fire was very intense. It seemed to be concentrated in the cabin where there's not a great deal of flammable material. So all this will be part of the investigation to determine how the people were able to get out and then what precipitated the, uh, apparently the very growing fire after they had all evacuated. And Keith, what are the main questions that you have moving forward about this incident uh, as the investigation continues? Well, we're going to want to determine what each of the aircraft were attempting to do. The Coast Guard aircraft was apparently getting ready for takeoff the uh, JAL airplane was just completing the landing roll when this took out. The JAL pilot probably was too far into the landing to be able to abort it and make a, a, a go around. And I doubt that he had the opportunity to miss the Coast Guard airplane. But these things will all be determined in the investigation, which will be forthcoming and which will probably take some uh, extensive period of time to complete. Keith Mackey, aviation analyst, joining us on this today. We appreciate your time and insight.